Gone round, he's gone back onto, gone through onto his house there. Can't see him. Oh, there he is. Good, nearly in. So we're going to show the heroes, aren't we, are bee homes. So, so we've been looking at the different types of bees that are in our garden. The bees, the ones where they get mud and they fill up all the holes. And we've quite got quite a few, not a lot, of ones that are full. Yeah, so you'll be able to see there that we've got um, mud-capped tubes, some of them, where the solitary bees, and we've put this one up just with a simple uh, nail into the wall. So it's more south facing this one so it gets the evening and afternoon sun uh, which is good for insects and then this has been used quite a bit it's only been up a, a year or so but it's been used quite a bit because you can see the mud around some of the holes and you've still got one there that is still cased up from last year and because that solitary bee is coming in and laying a single egg in each chamber and then blocking that up with mud so that they can then hatch through. And then Thea's taken us to this one. This one is for the leaf cutter bees. And if you remember from the video, it was on this tree here where they're taking the leaves from. So we've put this um, home up. Again, just with a simple nail through the fence or screw to secure it. And then this one, it also provides a home for overwintering insects. And we've got this bottom tunnel here this one here has got leaves in it from last year we had leaf cutter bees use it a little bit but the reason we put it in this piece of this direction was that because our next door neighbours have got one on their fence over there where the leaf cutter bee flew to last year so we were trying to replicate 
the home for them and have another home position just here for them. So guys, we found this bee crawling around on the floor. I did pick it up and put it on my plant, but it's still crawling. So I've got some sugar water here and a little spoon. You need to put the spoon in front of the bee. Oh, he's running away. He's a bee. He's a running bee. It's not quite a bumblebee. It's a kind of bee for him. It's a kind of bumblebee, I would imagine. He really doesn't want it. You have to have it, little bee, to help you get it. Get oh, it better. Okay, run. Pick him up on this, uh, pick him up again, Roman, and to put him onto the flower plant, the pink one behind. Okay. Here you got him. On the pink one? Yeah, because then there's pollen in there. He's the Nectar. Oh. That's it. There we go. There we go. That's the other method. Good job, little bee. So he's now able to get some food. So Actually, the sugar water wasn't needed. He didn't need the sugar water, but Roman, explain what he did with the water and the sugar water. Uh, put some sugar, I got a bit of water. Put some sugar in it and mix it a little bit up. to make sugar water. And then usually the bee will take that if it's tired. But this bee didn't want to take it. But I put, so then I picked him up again and got him on a flower. And hopefully he'll be fine. Yeah, bee. We're like a. We're like a. Um, so that's the nature's heroes bringing you live rescue of a bee. And we've been waiting for it. And we've seen bees going onto that Yeah, plant. but we've really needed um, this to happen. But it's very sad, but we wanted it to happen, though. So then we it's, can put it's it on the floor. It's not sad, baby. This happens to bees a lot where they struggle. So if you find a bee that's on the floor that doesn't seem like it can fly, then pop him up onto a plant if you can. Roman got him on his hand. He's very safe. He's going a bit crazy now. But he's going back to the... Yeah, he's fun and climbing. And then if he's really tired, he's had the sugar water. Because bees can only sting you. But bees will only sting you at the very last resort if they feel threatened, because it will kill them. If they sting you... Well, don't just... If you're little, don't just try and do that, because you need to ask an adult. That's right, baby. Yeah, get an adult. older. Get someone responsible to help. Good tip.